How's it going guys? Second Gear here and welcome back to episode 13 of Minecraft World's End with actual mic audio. Because I was an idiot in the last episode and thought it was plugged in because the red light was on. But it was actually plugged into my PS4 from when we were recording or streaming The Witcher. So yay, I'm an absolute ass, And it was quite a big episode as well because it was our first trip to the nether with our lovely alumni pick, which uh, can now mine Ardite, as you know, because, uh, well, we took, or we managed to steal five pieces from uh, the zombie pigmen. That was not fun, because we kept getting trapped by them, and they kept getting angry, and we ran, and, yeah, I've upgraded these chests as well to iron, so they can hold a hell of a lot more. And uh, our Osmium packs all broke, so I made this bronze one, and, oh my god, when you guys see how quick it can mine stuff, it'll blow your mind. But I also expanded our little sugarcane farm over here. And I, uh, while I was waiting for our witch episode that I literally just uploaded today. Um, yeah, I was just doing a bit of a off, off camera kind of thing. We're not actually doing anything, just pretty much well. I'll show you in one second. Just chop down these back down to one. Now if we go into our world map and we, uh, we scroll up here just ever so slowly, nice and easy. Wait for it, wait for it, boom! So I made a little dirt platform a couple blocks high so that the zombies and skeletons can get me and look at all of that grass. It's just spreading all the way down to where we are now. But that is so much grass. But while I was waiting, I heard a few like um, far away meteor hits. So uh, I saw this glowing object when we came back home. So I just chucked a waypoint down there on the coordinates which you can see in the top left. And it's like a weird light, but by the looks of it, that looks like glowstone, so I think it might be a treasure meteor, so we're going to have to head over there right now to go see. But um, what else has happened really since our last episode? I just pretty much organized some things. I went out for a bit of a lava run over the, vol the glitched out volcano and filled up our lovely tanks. Made a new casting table so we can pump out two ingots, and we got buckets on the side as you saw. Uh, hmm. I don't know, I, I need to make some new armor, because this magnetization is great and everything, but it's kind of annoying now. It's lost its kind of, I don't know, usefulness, because it's picking up stuff that I want to throw away and blah blah blah. But this episode today, I want to raid the city. I want to take everything from every building, because if you guys remember in like episode 4, we bravely went in there, went into one building, and we found six diamonds in one chest. And I was just like, oh my god. Because it was just so, so lucky. But let's just head over to this weird light with our lovely bronze. Oh yeah, just, just check this out. Look at how quick that breaks dirt. Ooh. What's this? That looks, that looks like a broken treasure meteor. But this isn't the weird light. Right, hold on, let's just get... We'll investigate it the second we kill these zombies. Right, might as well take him out as well. I'm loving this um, this longsword as well, how it just... Oh, just the jumping hole thing, just whoop! So useful. Right, oh, no, there is a chest down here. Right, okay, okay. Okay, we've got to play this right. I want that glowstone, and that one, and that one, and that one. Nope, come here. Get rid of this dirt. Oh, guys, you don't know how, how great these chests are. This is how we actually got our chest plate at the moment. Right, three, two, one. No freaking way. Okay, so we got we got a freezerite pick. That's uh, That kind of sucks, but never mind. We got another meteorite chest plate. And is this? This can't be. No way. Holy crap, it's the Kreknerite. It's the Kreknerite um, armor. So look at this, when you have the full set, you get fire immunity, but each piece has fire protection for. Look at that durability as well. Holy crap. Okay, so we've we've got two bits. Of, I, I, I want to wear this now. Oh my god, we look amazing. We look like an amazing Tronicus Creeper. I forget what, what I called it. Holy crap. I wonder if... So that weird light must be another treasure meteor, because I think only those have glowstone. Holy crap, so we can find the boots and, and the trousers, or I don't know, how... One second, let's just back out of that and crack. 
Uh, how, do, how do you make the trousers? No way is that easy. How do you make the ingots? Come on. All you've got to do is bake Kreknerite chips. Are you kidding me? We have like 30 of those back home. Holy crap, we're so... We are making a set of this. We only need two more pieces. Look. Oh my god, our armor's actually full. You don't know how... How amazing that's going to be to have fire immunity when we go back to the nether. Because our alumni pick... Oh yeah, while I was doing some off -cam, the off-camera stuff, we actually leveled it up again. So now we got a extra level of reinforce, uh, reinforce as well as an extra modifier. So now we have five. But because it's boosted and our skill level, we just leveled up. Uh, I want to put an Ardite pick, uh, pickaxe head on there. Yep, yep, I was right. Yes, it's a treasure meteor. Right, let's let's get this glowstone. Oh, we don't have magnetization on anymore. But I think there's a special kind of enchant where you can kind of make uh, make your own enchantment books. So I'm hoping you can make one for magnetization, and hopefully we can get that lovely effect back. But let's just break down this little meteor block here. Come on, three, two, one. Oh my god, we got another chest plate. That is awesome. <gasps> Ten? No, this can't be right. Okay, so these these lovely um, what are they called? Uh, red meteor gems they're used for the meteor shield and the meteor shield basically protects a 64 uh, a radius of 64 blocks around wherever you deploy it and it and literally no meteors will ever hit there again because it's obviously protected and I did pre-prepare to uh, make one of those this episode which you only need um three meteorite ingots from smelting or just cooking down the meteor chips we've been collecting from well all of the meteors so yeah we uh, I, I pre-made the ingots and all you need other than that is one piece of redstone and five pieces of cobblestone so we can get that to full power i think you only need five red gems to actually make it work completely like as far and as powerful as it can go but as you can see, our land has kind of been ravaged by meteors recently. Like, if we just hop onto this map and zoom out a little bit, they are just freaking everywhere. Just potholes here, there, and everywhere. But look at all of that grass. I'm so happy. So, uh, when I left myself AFK over here, I did go up and just check out these meteors because uh, they look quite big and quite interesting. But it uncovered this part of the map. And that, my friends, is a Mayan temple, which... From what I've seen, can hold some pretty powerful gear, so I'm looking forward to going and checking that out. But let's make... I don't know. We need to make two more pieces of this Kreknerite armor, and uh, we need to upgrade our pickaxe. I want to put a new blade on our sword to just increase the damage a little bit. But then we shall be heading over to the city to see if we can find anything rather amazing. Hopefully so. Right, so where do I need to go? Um, oh my god, I can't believe we found Kreknerite. That is just awesome. Ah, oh, yeah. So in this chest, I just threw some stuff. I also went out and got some more clay, some more sand, and some more gravel to increase the size of our smeltery. And as you can see, I, I, I got a lot. I found a lot of sand, and I was so freaking happy. But let's make this meteor shield. So it's just like this with one piece of redstone there and some meteor ingots there. And now we have a meteor shield. Sweet. Right, so let's, um, I don't know, let's throw this like right in the middle of the room, I guess. Just to try and cover everywhere. Meteor shield charging. Charge 5%. Ah, see, so look, you only need four of these gems, which we actually have uh, ten of them. So we, we don't need any more of them. And we need some meteor chips. So let's just drop down here, because I think this is where I stored them. Oh, almost forgot at the, at the beginning of the episode. Let's just do our normal thing. And is it going to pop up? Come on. There we go. So I just have to test out the Twitch chat. Oh, I keep forgetting to mention things that are kind of important. When we were over um, AFK by the big meteor with the grass, we had a, two treasure meteors come down. And these, uh, well, these are what we found inside them. And that one's a crash detector, so it shows you... Well, I don't know, it detects the last, re like, most recent crash zone. Uh, this one's a time detector and uh, detects incoming meteors, like, uh, how long until they impact. And the proximity is, well, it detects the closest incoming meteor. So I thought that was quite um, quite cool. 
Anyway, let's grab these meteor chips, and I want to grab these Kreknerite chips as well to cook down. So that one's got four. Yeah, let's fry them in here. You only need um, coal does ten, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure it does. Let's throw this up here. That up there. Red meteor gems from meteorite should should make the shield stronger. Oh, don't worry. I plan on doing that very soon, like in about five seconds. And throw this in here. Yeah, we'll we'll keep this uh, Krekner right, just separate and nice and safe. Uh, freezer right can go in there too, because that, that pick is nothing compared to our alumite. Alumite. I keep saying alumite. It's alumite. God damn it, alumite. How difficult is it? Is it to say? We got some more freezer right crystals too, and some glowstone, some lovely stuff. Let's just sort that too. Uh, so we can make boots already. Where is our little crafting station? Yes, Kreknerite boots. Holy crap, so 520, 390. Like, oh my god, we are never going to die again with this Kreknerite armor. Oh, I can't believe we found that. Sorry, I'm just so excited for it. And, uh, yeah, really, really, truly sorry about the episode yesterday. I, I was so angry with myself, like... My family were pretty much scared to come near me last night. Because <laughs> I was just so disappointed that I made such a stupid, stupid mistake. But anyway, um, so before I chuck in the Ardite, I just want to bake these. Or not bake these, make some seared bricks with these two stacks. So now we've got 32, lovely stuff. Have we got anything to just build ourselves up with? Um, I don't think we do. Ah, this is what we can do. Another great use of the sword. And bang. Damn it. We missed. I think it's just two. There we go. Yes. Right, so let's just use our lovely sear bricks here. Let's build this up another layer. Right. Oh, we're going to be one shy of making it one bit taller. Can you imagine if when we go to the city in a minute, we actually find like an entire chest full of uh, seared bricks? Like, I, I think I would just lose it. I would just die on the spot. Like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> right, so that's done. Now, what's a safe way to get down? I don't know. Let's just... Wow, we jumped from that height and we only lost one and a half hearts. Holy crap, this armor is powerful. Right. So, no. No, spider. No. No. So, we need one bit of Ardite. Because I'm not going to waste it. What's the point? It's quite a rare... Well, it's not quite rare. It's a very rare ore, and I cannot believe we found five bits, let alone one yesterday. So let's just take that cast off. And we need our pickaxe head. No, that's the handguard. There we go. Uh, I also made a obsidian tool rod just to see if it would be better. And no, it is not. Obsidian tools are kind of the worst. Holy crap, this takes a long time to uh, bake down. Bake? Cook? Whatever. Smelt. There you go. That's the, what I was looking for, so let's just throw these back in here with this. Throw that in there. Right, so is this charged? Range 48 blocks, power level 1 out of 5, no comets detected. Well, let's uh... Oh, okay, so we don't need chips anymore. So let's just throw one there. Holy crap, can we stack? Oh, we can't. Damn it. So this now has the range of 240 blocks. Oh wow, look at that. So it actually has like a little animation like while it's there. Oh, we're going to need to move that waypoint. All right, so let's hop in here. We've got a waypoints, home, and delete. So we need to just move that so otherwise we'll spawn inside and then we'll kind of take damage and die. It's a new waypoint, home. Don't know why I always do that. Uh, lime green, please. Wow, 240 blocks. So that is 41. So we need to go, no way is it that much, or is it 240 radius, like the entire thing? So that's just 120. Wow, that still goes way into the city. Holy crap, you are a powerful little meteor shield. The little shield that could. But uh, I, I don't know, uh, this is going to be kind of tricky today to uh, stream and record our various episodes and, well, streams. Because, obviously, the Witcher stream took way... Or, or, Witcher episode took way longer than I thought to actually upload. And now we have the Kreknerite leggings. So let's just pop those bad boys on. And now we have full fire immunity. Like, look at that. 520, 600, 640, and 440. All with fire protection 4. 
we can... L oh my god, I wonder if we put a, like a bucket of lava down, if we can just literally swim in it. Because if we're immune to fire, like holy crap. I wonder what the weapon's like as well. Fire aspect 2, 6 damage, not bad, but uh, no, I'd rather keep what we have. Wait a second, what was that? Kreknerite Meteor Summoner, how do you make that? Oh, okay, so we, we can't. <laughs> so, I think we should sleep and then, uh, no, just uh, go straight to the town as soon as it's morning. Our bronze Paxel here, which started at 1100 durability. It's not as much as the obsidian Paxel, but it'll do. Oh, before we sleep though, we need to grab our, or make our Ardite pick. Because when we level that up, that means we can mine some cobalt, and when we can get cobalt, we have malium. And then, I, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm going to do. Alright, so let's just, I don't know, empty that into there. Why not? So we need that there. And this here. Wait, that's not right. Tool station. Am I on the right thing? Oh no, we got them switched around the wrong way. What am I doing? Alright, ready, ready, ready. Oh my god. It looks lovely. And it's put our durability up by about 120. Oh, wow. And we're nearly able to level up. We're on 95.01. Holy crap. And we still have five modifiers. Guys, you don't even know how powerful this pickaxe is going to be. It is going to be ridiculous. But we've also got a mining speed of eight now, which is even better. Um, I don't know. I don't know what we should do with this. Because I don't want to leave it just as pure iron. Hmm. I don't know. I wonder if an Ardite... You know what? We're going to throw this back in there and just make a Ardite sword blade as well. Why not? Just give our sword a little a little TLC too. So chuck that down there. Right. <clears throat> How far till that's going to smelt? Ah, no. We might as well just do a little bit of farming. I cleared out the area a bit as well, like smoothed it out just a, just a little bit. Because I want to take down this fence wall and literally put like a big ass perimeter around our whole area. Just so we can sleep at night without going downstairs and all of that. It's just a pain. There's no need for it. Oh, I'm already missing that magnetization. And I can't say that damn word. Uh, I don't know. I was thinking about putting a second tier onto our farm up here. I think it would just be useful because we've only got a little bit of food being able to grow because uh, I took some room out to do a sugarcane farm so we can make trees later on. Like you can reverse engineer trees and it's just like, oh my god, that is awesome. So let's grab some of these potatoes. But we don't actually need to plant anymore, so I guess these are profit potatoes. Same as these carrots. Lovely, delicious carrots. Yeah, I think that's about it, and our Ardite should be done by now. Is it? Yes, it is. Let's make that lovely sword blade. Um, I don't know. What do you, guys, what do you think we should do for our five modifiers? Because there is a lot. We can put Lapis Lazuli on there, so that we can actually have a Fortune Pickaxe, as well as a Reinforced and Regenerating Pickaxe. Or we can put Redstone on there and make it... Well, a hell of a lot faster for mining. Like, ridiculously fast. So before, that's five hearts, and it only puts up by 0.5 of a heart. But it doubles the durability, so... Yeah, stonebound. What is stonebound? I don't know, but screw it. Now we have a lovely Ardite sword. Sweet! So, I think we should try and sleep. Oh my god, look at all of those zombies. Those zombies are just dying to get in here. Oh wow, we can sleep. Okay, no worries. Ah, so now, 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 we get to go and raid that city. Have we got enough food? Yep, our Kreknerite armor is all on. Ah, I'll chuck those in this chest down here. This is kind of like our, not our overflow chest, just crap. Just stuff I don't want to use yet or don't have a need for. And bounce, damn it. Huh, why are we lagging? I have no idea. I guess it's the amount of uh, zombies around us as well. But streaming really does put strain on your uh, internet. It really does. Like, I was when I was uh, just doing the off-camera stuff, we were running like 100 frames per second. Second I hit that stream button, we dropped down to 40. 
and jump. See, look at that. That is amazing. Oh, God, I love this sword so much. Uh, let's start with the sandstone building. Simply because we had great luck with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this bron uh, bronze paxel. So, look at that. Now, look at this. Cobalt is five times faster than that. It is ridiculously fast. Uh, yeah, let's just shut these so zombies can't get in. I know there's going to be spawners in here. There's spawners all over the city. Oh, not on this floor. Are we actually going to get any loot? I don't know. Hopefully, yep. One chest. We get some gunpowder, ink sacks, and wheat. Not bad, not bad. Good start. Well, it's awful, but... Apple, rotten flesh, and string. I think these are just like a uh, basic kind of materials. Oh, God. Well, uh, that opened up quickly. Ooh, another chest. Oh, did we just get that one? I, I don't know. Wow, it breaks quite quickly. And let's just tower ourselves up. Or actually, let's just make life easier for the future. Yeah, we're going to have to stick one there. Yep, there we go. Wow, I am not happy with the performance of my laptop today. It's been quite annoying. Ah, But yesterday, guys, on The Witcher, we finally killed Sir Beaky, the horrible royal griffin. It was a bit of a challenge, but we also got a crossbow out of it, so I am uh, happy about that. Nope. Oh, god damn it. Well, let's use this sandstone. Just do another one there. Come on, hop up. I don't... I think it's because... I don't even know why we're lagging. It's really annoying me now. I don't know if it's going to be laggy for you guys, but it is for me. Some bread. I do not want any mushroom stew. Thank you. Oh, there's a zombie spawner. Yeah, we'll take you. Why not? Oh, because you can actually uh, fix... You can fix the... What are they even called? The spawners? Can we go up another layer? I don't know. Let's use our Paxel. No, we can't. Right, so one building down. I wonder if we fell from this height. Would the Kreknerite uh, uh, just save us? You know what? Let's just break our way down. I really don't care about this building. It had nothing good for us at all. Oh, crap. I overshot it. <laughs> My bad. And let's go to the next one. Yeah, this one I think it's a it's a really tall one. Holy crap! I am looking though for a enchantment table because uh, I forget what I was looking at to make, but you need a enchantment table. What was it? I cannot remember for the life of me what it was. I know it was a enchantment table wrapped in gold for some reason. I have no idea. Oh, let's just chuck that there. Um, no chests. Oh, there's a floating chest, though. I guess we can grab this. Uh, ink sack, string. We always need string. And I guess we could take these bookshelves, too. Oh, no, that's a torch. We don't need that. Ah, oh, crap. I'm really missing that magnet effect. I really am. It's just so damn useful. Right, we'll just use this ladder. Go straight up here. There's a door here that goes somewhere. I don't know. And it goes to a empty room. How freaking helpful. Right, this is this lag is really starting to annoy me. 38 frames, 20. It's jumping from 30 to the 20s. Eh, it's not really good at all. In fact, it is rather infuriating. Why does this go all the way to the top? You know what? We might as well start at the top and go to the bottom. Yeah, it's probably easier. Ah, damn it. Oh, well. We'll just go through this way, then. Oh, blaze. I heard a blaze. No, 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 no. Creeper spawner. That goes first. Oop. Yep, let's just back up. And we got an apple. Fair enough. Now we might as well just take the entire floor out, just to have a look. So I hear a blaze, but I just can't see him. Nope, we need you. Yeah, we'll just tower up using oak planks. Ah, skeleton spawner. Fair enough. Let's take that too. My god, this lag. It is just infuriating. Ah, okay, so there's a staircase on the other side. No, 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 no. Cave spider spawner. We're we not having any of them spawn. No way, we got two eggs. 
So apparently there's like a one in two hundred and like sixty odd percent, like one in two hundred and sixty-two chance that it would actually spawn a chicken or four chickens, is it? Because you can get a quad spawn, which is like, like I said, insanely freaking rare. And even one in two hundred and sixty-two, that's average. That's not like per player. Apple, rotten flesh, ink sack. Oh god, these are disappointing buildings. Why can't you give us some diamonds like the others? They loved us. Perhaps just oh, zombie pigman. Are you going to attack us? Nope. Can we come in? Yeah, we can come in. And I'm just gonna break that. No worries. I'm not gonna kill him. I'm not gonna attack him. We learned our lesson from the Nether. Zombie pigmen are hard as hell, especially when they're coated in armor. Ah, creeper spawner. Yep, you're gone. And these bookshelves too. We need your books. Thank you. Alright, come on. Here we go. Ah, there's nothing hidden under here. Nope. Just some damn stone bricks. And there's nothing above. Okay. Well, you know what? I think we're just going to pound our way down. Because we're not going to get hit from this, so... Why not? And we've been here. Oh, that one hurt. Bowl of soup, we don't need you. Can we go out the door? There's nothing there, so let's drop down another level. I think we're going to find a blaze in one of these. Because I can still hear him. I can hear that weird noise they make. The ball kind of thing. I don't know. Up, oh, yep, here he is. Die, blaze. Wow, that killed him quick. So, rotten flesh and ink sack. And you know what? We're going to take your spawner too. We'll fix you later. Uh, anything? Spider spawner? Fair enough. We're going to walk out with so many spawners in the end of this. Apple and string and skeleton. Fair enough. Another skeleton. And a zombie. And we're back at the ground floor. Wow, that was a small, a small tower. It looked so much bigger outside. Yeah, oh well. Right, next building. Yeah, you know what, let's... Uh, Let's tidy up our inventory quick. Just throw all of this up here. Oh, no, no, no. Give us back our slime bucket. Put that back in there. Thank you. Stained clay. Don't tell me we could have... Please don't tell me we could use that. Okay, good. I was just thinking we spent all that time looking for clay and we could just use normal, like, stained clay from the town, the city. But we have, remember, guys... We have got a fresh new town over here. I haven't even seen it. I didn't even know it was freaking there. So we're going to have to go and explore that soon. Uh, are we in the middle? Yep. Okay, let's jump. Oh, God, I love this sword. Damn it. Oh, we're going to have to tower. There's some things the sword just can't reach. Yeah, I don't want that spawner thing. Thank you. Don't want that, but I do want to see what's in this chest. Really? Really? Did that actually just happen? God damn it. Nope, we need our Paxel. Ah, uh, bread. Bucket. Wow, well, I don't need a map. We have our global map right here. So let's hop ourselves back up. Wait, nope. There we go. Zombie spawner. I really can't be bothered. Bucket. Oh my god, another egg. We are lucky. Good. We need lots of eggs. And I think this is like the top of the building. I don't know, let's break this. Yes, it is. And down we go. Nope, nearly overshot it again. My bad. We don't need you. Get out of our way. I don't know what these buildings are for, but they're just made with birch. And I haven't seen a single, like, birch tree. We've only found dead oak trees. How depressing. And we broke the wrong damn block. Right, there we go. So I was thinking, guys, next episode, I might make some special tools the ones that I've been hiding from you like the hammer, the excavator and the lumber axe like we don't actually need the excavator or the lumber axe but they're just very handy to have for quick clearing oh no, no, no creeper spawning, you can go hmm what can we use to tower up now I don't really know that can go though um I, I honestly don't know what we can use. All of this can go up here, though. That that I know. I know for sure. Uh, let's use a stone slab. And we have got some smooth stone here. Gip, would you stop 
playing around with our slime buckets. Just sit in here nice and quietly. And was that some cobble? Yes, it was. So I'm going to pick some of this up. Yeah, we'll get that plank too. Did we look in here? Yes, we did. Right, up we go. Come on. Keep it climbing. Find some good stuffs. Hopefully, at least. Don't tell me we've hit the top. Oh, wow. There's glowstone up there. Well, I think I know what we're taking. Oh, that slab. I knew that was a bad idea. Up we go. Come on. There we go. So, what What was this place? A lighthouse? I have no idea. All I know is I want that glowstone and it's way up. Holy crap. That is a big building. Why are we lagging so much? I, I just don't know. Hmm. But guys, because uh, we are very late, or I am very late in recording, this is going to be a strictly 30 minute episode. Which, unfortunately, we are nearly the end of, at the end of even. But remember, we are also doing two Minecraft videos to our one Witcher video. Holy crap, that, that was a lot quicker than I thought. Wow, that height, one heart. Mm, I'm in love with this armor. Oh, sweet mother of God. <laughs> your meteor shield protected your land from a meteor. Second gear has just earned the achievement. Meteor destroyed. Oh, sweet mother of God. I didn't know it was night time. How did I not know? Run, 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 run. Oh, good. Uh, come on. Keep throwing us further. See, this is a great way to travel. You know what? I want to test out this. Oh, what's wrong? Can't you burn us anymore? Oh my god, I'm in love with this armor. As long as it doesn't break, I'm happy. Because I think we only have enough Kreknerite for one more set. If that. Right. I wish I would have uh, actually marked the buildings that we've been in. Because that may have been useful. Because we need to continue raiding the city tomorrow. Or later on this evening even, should I say. But, right, we'll eat some of these lovely experienced berries. Yeah, essence berries. And there we go. Block comets. On. Wait, what? Oh, wow, so it even tells you what kind of comet it is. That's quite cool. And it collects what it, what it drops? Are you kidding me? Hey, hey, stop being rude. Go away. Not politely or not at all. But guys, I think I'm going to have to, be, have to end the episode here because we've hit about 30 minutes, but no worries. Uh, later on, I will post on on my Twitter feed when I'm going to be recording episode 14, isn't it? Yeah, it is 14. But hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. I know we haven't done much because, well, we were treasure, treasure meteor hunting. And I think that was really, really worth it. But... Um, so next episode we'll be continuing to explore the lovely city. Hopefully we'll find actual stuff that's worth taking. But guys, I like I said, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please follow me on Twitch for more daily Minecraft videos. As well as Twitter for, well, if you ever need to know when I'm going to be going live, I always post on there. And I'm also on YouTube under Second Gear Gamer. I've got a few other series going at the moment or finished, so check those out if you want. And if you like my kind of content, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, I shall catch you all later.